Hello, I'm Paul Gamonpré, software engineer for Intel. This is Intel Edison, and I will show you how to connect Edison to your motor, to your heating system, or to make an autopilot for your small drone, or make a big one with Edison inside. And I'll also show you how Edison can help you cook duck perfectly. So here's my problem. I have an old heating system, but I'd like to reduce my carbon emissions and have the optimal temperature at all time. I could add Edison inside and make it smart, but the heater is just one part of the problem. I also have pumps. Until now, I had a system where pumps and heater are on the same plug, and this plug is customized to get power from two cables. The first cable is uh, controlled by a simple thermostat. The goal is to protect the pipe from freezing or to set the temperature at a fixed level. The second one is controlled by a X10 plug. X10 is an old protocol to send simple orders over the electrical cables at home in a building. In my case, the plug is receiving orders from the Marmitech system. This system is a gateway between X10 wireless motion sensors on the phone line. It can send you alerts when something is moving at home or let you switch on or off devices just by calling the gateway. It's simple, not connected to internet, but it works well. I could solve the same problem with Edison only on new protocols smarter than X10, but I'd like to keep that and integrate with the existing solution. Here's how I propose to do it. First, I'll use a CM11 adapter to send and receive X10 messages from a PC using a simple USB connection. In our case, it won't be a PC, it would be Edison. But the same concept applies. Then I'll install a software called AU to control this adapter from Edison. First, we download the package, then we extract, configure, make, make and install. Very typical Linux software. When I plug the USB cable of the CM11 adapter on Edison and I put the switch in the right position to have the full-size USB port enabled and I run LSUSB, I can see the adapter in the USB devices. A new serial port over USB is uh, available to communicate with the adapter. To configure AU, I have to create a few folders in the system and copy the config file in my home folder. The config file is quite simple. First, you have to define what serial port would be used. Then uh, you have to define one alias for each device uh, you will plug on the network. For example, here I have my first light uh, with address A4. The letter is the network, for example, usually by default it's A, and each adapter will have a specific number. You can even plug different adapters with the same address, they will uh, behave exactly the same way. Now let's run some tests. Uh, I can switch on or off a specific address, like A4, or I can use an alias, for example, light.
go further with the AU configuration, there's tons of great features. But my next goal would be to get a web interface to operate the devices from a, a mobile phone or a PC. And if possible, in Node.js, as it's my language of choice for IoT. I found Domus, and I quite like it. First, I have to enable the production configuration in a AU config file and copy a few files to ETC AU. Let's launch the Node.js server. And go to a web browser with uh, your Edison board IP address on port 8889. It works. I can switch on or off devices. It also works from my Android phone. We'll go further in the next video, but we see that brand new IoT platforms like Edison can easily integrate with all technologies like X10. Because we have a full Linux system, we can combine and run software like AU, and Node.js take things to the next level with a minimal effort.